Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is Melanie back with My Love's Death Metal and ignore the catastrophic mess behind me. As everybody knows, I'm moving. I've said that in like every video for the last like two weeks. Um, and I finally am getting everything into boxes. That closet behind me was completely packed full of shit. Um, just stuff. And so it's just all scattered in here. This is like one of the last rooms that, I, that we've worked on because I've got so much stuff in here. I, I collect a lot of things. Um, so... Um, as you can see, my vinyl shelf is pretty empty. I've kept out a lot of records that I still wanted to listen to uh, before the move. Um, that's probably a little bit too much, <laughs> but I had a hard time packing things because I just never know. You know, every day I feel like something different. So, uh, but what I'm actually here to talk about today is what every YouTuber, what every metal blogger, what everybody is talking about on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and other social media outlets um, are the re-recordings of Morbid Visions and Bestial or Bestial Devastation by Cavalera, aka Sepultura, from back in the day. Um, I was a little bit skeptical when I first heard this was announced. Um, I immediately thought it was a cash grab by the Igor, by the Igor, by the Cavalera brothers, uh, Max and Igor. Um, just because, you know, past things that have happened in the past have, haven't, you know, been too much of a fan of some of their newer music or anything like that. Um, and then I heard some of the, like, press release. I got some of the, the like, promotional stuff sent to me. Um, and I was very, very surprised at how fantastic they sounded. Um, these are two re recordings that I didn't think I needed in my life. Like, Morbid Visions is... Probably like a top 20 album for me. Um, I absolutely love that album. And Bestial, Bestial, I don't know how you guys say it. Uh, Devastation is just one of those iconic EPs or whatever you want to call it. Um, they're very, you know, the production quality is awful. <laughs> uh, it was pretty low budget recording back then. You know, the Sepultura in their very, very beginning of their their career. Um, and, but it was one of those things where it was like nostalgia was still there with those records, uh, with those albums and, and they still sounded phenomenal and they were still fun to listen to and I didn't have any qualms with the production quality, but then these come along and I think it's kind of ruined me a little, just a tiny bit. Um, they sound phenomenal. Uh, Max has amazing vocals in it. Like it, it his ferociousness is still there. It's evil sounding. It's just top tier thrash metal. Um, it's just, in, yeah, it's Sepultura, but more modern sounding. But they still have a lot of the old school stuff there, obviously. Um, just, they sound phenomenal. I'm sure you probably have heard them by now, but uh, I am just blown away. <laughs> um, I absolutely love them. And I've just been so pumped, and I finally got them. Um, I got them on Saturday uh, after the actual release of, of the records. Um, they came a little late, I, which was crazy because, you know, I pre-ordered them like the day of. But, you know, a lot of people, a lot of other people did too. So I didn't get them early like everybody else. But I figured I would show them off on here um, with the updated artwork. They look phenomenal. So we'll start with uh, Bestial Devastation. Get this microphone out of the way. Uh, so this is the orange swirl vinyl version, which was limited to 2,125, which is a very like random ass number. Um, I think there's other color variants of this. I can't remember. Uh, but this was the one that I just pre-ordered. I didn't really care too much what color I got. I just wanted it. Uh, there's the back. I absolutely love those shots of the guys. And then the updated artwork, which is this spectacular looks so good um i need to get a shirt <laughs> or a flag or something because i love this artwork so much so printed inner sheet sheet there of the brothers updated picture and on the other side is lyrics and then liner notes um i was just trying to see really quickly because i forgot okay so this was actually uh recorded at for some reason, I thought they said more sound, but obviously it's not more sound, so never mind. Um, but yeah, you know, it's Max, Igor, uh, and then on vocals and drums, and they both sound fantastic. Um, yeah, just it's it's really good. And then 
this is the Cantor artwork. He, he came back and did the re updated a version of it. I'll pop up what the old one looks like versus this. Um, and it's just simply, simply phenomenal. So really nice uh, jacket pressing, you know, very bare bones of just the printed inner sheet and then the jacket. I don't know if there was any like special editions or anything like that. I, I didn't immediately didn't look into it too much. Um, the tapes look cool. I thought those look cool. That was tempting. I almost bought those too. Uh, and then the color is again that orange swirl right there. Uh, it's hard. There's a little bit of yellowing in there. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, but yeah, so the sticker kind of threw me off a little bit. I just realized it's Cavalera, but it like continues on to the other side. So yeah, I don't just one little subtle detail that I noticed when I was uh, looking at this. So the vinyl sounds incredible. There's no surface noise or pops or anything, at least not on my copy. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody complaining about the sound quality of the vinyl. Uh, there is also a CD out, which I did obviously didn't order, um, but the tapes looked pretty cool. I think they come in like black, orange, and red. There's like a bunch, a couple colors that you can choose from. Um, and if you're looking for a fast alternative, if you don't want to wait for Nuclear Blast to send these, they are on Amazon. If you have Prime, you'll get them in like a day or two. Um, just, just saying. I know Amazon sucks to order vinyl from, and some people just are really against it. But just calling it out if you, if you. If you want self instant self gratification, Amazon has it on Prime Shipping. You can get it. Um, anyway, so that's that one, and then Morbid Visions. Uh, this one is just the oh god, I still love this album so much. Um, so there's the updated artwork. So so evil, looks amazing, and then the back is the brothers, the bros, with the swords. And then the printed inner sheet is pretty similar, you know, to the, all the other ones, except for this has the full full band image there. Um, the Cavalera band. And then lyrics on the other side. So this is also sounds spectacular. Um, admittedly, I've listened to this one a lot. It's funny because, like, this is the one that I felt I didn't think I would ever need like a re-recording. This one I, I felt maybe might have. I don't know. I never really thought about it back in the day of, of like, do these need to be recorded? It's just, it's one of those things where I'm just so used to it. Like I just put it on, didn't think about the sound quality or anything like that. I just, you know, went along with it. But now hearing this, yeah, the re-recording was definitely... A good call. So this is the red and black and white splatter. This looks fantastic. Um, so I've seen other people's splatters uh, on Instagram that they've been sharing, and their splatter is not nearly as much. So I got a good one. <laughs> um, there are there is other color copies of this as well. I, I there's like a merge one that looks pretty cool, but I, I'm kind of glad I, I settled with the splatter. I've been kind of burnt out on splatters, but that looks fantastic. So. These are the Cavalera re-recordings and the vinyl pressings and what they look like. Uh, they are phenomenal. They sound great. Um, the re-recordings sound incredible. And Sepultura is one of my all-time favorite bands. Um, and some of the most, like, iconic albums that I've ever heard. Like, they've just really, they've influenced a lot of, of other music that I've listened to in my life in the metal genre. Um... And I still listen to them all the time. I mean, all the time. I am not as up to speed on some of the newer Sepultura albums. I just, after after Chaos AD, uh, Roots has just been one of those ones where it's been, I really, it's kind of a mood album for me. I don't hate it whatsoever. But after that, anything past that I haven't really listened to. Um, but I was such a big Max Cavalera fan uh, in my young days, my teenager days in high school. Um... I loved Soulfly, saw them in concert several times, uh, just was such a huge fan of everything that Max did back then, and kind of fell off a little bit when I got more into more of the underground extreme metal, death metal, and black metal. Uh, I stopped paying attention to like what he was doing, uh, but I really appreciate where he is in terms of like the metal, metal ambassadorship. Uh, he's been shouting out a lot of awesome 
underground bands and he's like touring and doing all other stuff like he's been a huge advocate to the scene uh so he's just awesome so still a huge fan of him i just need to go back and <laughs> catch up on all the newer music that he's put out <laughs> over the years because it's just not something that's been on my radar uh a whole lot or, or haven't really just hasn't like clicked with me but these are awesome check them out um i know a lot of people were skeptical of it uh if you see the hype around it, I think the hype is very warranted. Um, they sound phenomenal. There's just fun. Uh, and yeah, I, I think, are they doing a tour where they're playing all of one of these? I can't remember. I think I saw that announced, um, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, hopefully they sound, I'm sure they sound just as good live. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I'm rambling now. So that's all that I have. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I've seen, a lot of people's like there's just so many other videos out there people talking about it so I didn't want to go into too much detail about what it sounds like in clips and all that stuff there's plenty of other youtubers out there that that will have that have better videos on it but I just wanted to show off the vinyl and and let you know they're good and you should buy them so that's all that I'll see you guys in the next one